That right there is my 2003 Avanti Vivace road bike. Total times ridden in the last five years, three. So I thought I'd put this bike back into good use and convert it to a single speed bike for commuting into my local town to work. But first, what is a single speed and why am I converting my bike to one? As the name implies, a single speed is just a bike with one gear, one cog at the back and one at the front. In a nutshell, it is simplicity. No derailleurs to brake or maintain, no clusters of gears, less cables which all means less weight. It's a throwback to the original form of the bicycle and has grown in popularity with the hipster crowd of late. So first up I had to strip all the parts and components off the bike but this is where I came unstuck. I could not for the life of me get that bottom crank out. So I went into my local bike shop to enlist some help. Took four guys pulling on that. I would have never have got it by myself. Those guys at Torpedo 7 kindly did it for a packet of Tim Tams. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Awesome. Cheers. I was also pretty keen on getting the look of my bike changed, so I dropped into a local spray painter who powder coated my bike. So with my frame freshly powder coated I then went online and ordered some parts for converting my racing bike to my single speed commuter. I was pretty keen on putting some cyclocross style tyres on my bike because we have a lot of gravel or off-road segments around here for a bit of light off-road riding but that's where I struck my first problem. So that's my first wee problem there. I've got this lovely gruntier tyre put on the back for more shingle and uh, rugged use but it hits on the frame in there. I am 0 for 2 so that's the front tyre, another decent sort of a knobby tyre but that doesn't fit under there either. I managed to find these brown tyres with white walls from a company called Fixation in the States and they fitted quite nicely so that part was done. Okay, next stage here, I'm with Greg. Greg runs a business here in Queenstown called Fat Tire, and he does like heli biking trips, or trips to wineries, or... I don't do wineries anymore. Doesn't do wineries. I just drink beer after trips. <laughs> just drinks beer after trips. And he is kindly offering me, because of the, the extent of my technical knowledge has come to an end, so he's kindly helping me put the uh, more technical parts of the bike back together. So that's that 68. So we've been working all of at least, what, two minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes and realised that my bottom bracket is uh, the crank that I bought for the bottom bracket. This one is not going to fit uh, the bottom bracket I have, so uh, I have to get another part. So, yeah, might as well eat the ginger kisses that I bought. <laughs> <laughs> start we're going okay actually we've got the back wheel single cog on I've got an 18 tooth cog on not sure if that's going to be the one or not but we can't space it until we put the front crank on um, we've got a surly chain tensioner and now we're going to put the front forks in and I might tape the handlebars What 
What's the date, Greg? 20th. Mid-May, we're into mid-May now and I'm on a mission to get this bike finished. It's been a slow process because uh, quite a few of the parts that we ordered for the bike uh, didn't fit or else I had to get different parts. I'll get out of that sun. So uh, we are back at... Yes. All finished, thank you very much Greg, um, and I will, any, well, what do you think about that build Greg, Anything, any particular problems or issues that we uh, faced with that one? Yeah, we just keep getting the wrong parts, didn't we? Yeah, so it we took did. a while. Once we've we got it though, but. Yeah, it's possibly two months actually, you know, it's taken me to get once that Once you eventually bike, see it, it'll, yeah. um, it's amazing. Yes, thank you very much, and we will cut some bike pictures. <laughs> So with the bike build finished, I thought I'd better dress appropriately for a test ride. So overall, pretty happy with the build. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, I'm still not that happy with the back cog. I think it's too highly geared. I might try, I think it's an 18 tooth. I might try a 20. Um, and the skinny bars, although the, or the, the bullhorn bars look great, these ones, I might try for a bit of more of a, a, a mountain bike flat style bars because I'm just finding them a little bit too narrow. Apart from that, pretty stoked. Mm -hmm. 